So as we approach the next triathlon, the Olympic triathlon, which is a 26.2 mile bike, um, I figured the best thing for me would be to get an indoor trainer. I don't really like to ride on the road as much. I just don't feel as safe. So I figured, you know, we'll get the indoor trainer, see how it works comparatively, uh, do this triathlon, see if it's helped me in the process or if I need to go, you know, train outside some more or whatnot, vice versa. So I have it hooked up to Zwift. I'm sure you all have heard of it. Uh, it's just an app on here where you can choose the different workouts, so you can choose you know, how far you go, how long you go, different intervals or wattages and whatnot. I'm not sure how accurate the wattage is. I'm not sure if I have the power set up correctly. There's like a notch in the back of this where you can adjust how tight it is on the wheel. I'm not sure if that makes a difference or not. I'm pretty excited about it, mainly because I can go on my phone while I'm riding. So that'll help uh, these long sessions be a little less boring. So I've noticed that after about 10 miles, I start to get uncomfortable. My butt starts hurting. I can't really sit still or in one spot. And even my pee-pee goes numb. <laughs> We have finished our we finished our little bike ride. Uh, as you can see here, this is a Zwift app I was talking about. So 13 miles in 36 minutes. I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure how accurate this meter thing is. Um, please let me know if you have experience with this. If you recommend I get a power meter for my bike or whatnot, like I don't know if, how fast that truly is. Like if this over 20 miles per hour or whatnot, I don't feel like I was going that fast, <laughs> but that's what it says I was going. So I'm not sure how accurate it is. Please let me know down in the comments. But other than that, I mean, I feel a lot more safe and comfortable on the indoor bike. So I'm excited for it. I'm excited for, you know, longer rides and we'll just keep building on it. So to the next, to the next one. All right, so I got a wetsuit. Um, I'm gonna try this on because I've never wore a wetsuit before. And I don't have my tri suit on or anything. So I'm gonna get naked to put it on because this is too bulky and yeah. so I actually sent the first one back because there's I struggled to find the correct sizing like I looked at their chart on their website and it said I was a large and came in as a large and it did not feel like it fit uh, but I don't know because I, I don't wear a wetsuit so it seemed a little bit tight to me so I'm hoping that this one's an extra large I'm hoping this one fits a little bit better so I get naked real quick and uh, huh? that's kinky. It already feels a lot more loose. I mean, it's tight, but it's not. I wish I had the other one on video because it was like, it was a struggle to even get in. This one is a lot easier. So I feel like it's tight, but I mean. You couldn't even zip the last one by yourself. I mean, it feels good. It looks tight, right? But I feel like, you know, I got pretty good movement. <sighs> feels good. Hopefully it's not, so this is like five millimeters or whatever. So it's pretty thick. And I'm hoping that the water is cold enough where I don't overheat for how long I have to swim. Because, <sighs> sorry, taking my breath away putting this freaking thing on. I can imagine how being in the water and swimming with this, if it's not, if the water's like too warm, that I'll overheat. So we shall see. Day of. Alrighty, so, so I've noticed that it's got bright out here. It was just like all gloomy and stuff a second ago. The sun's finally come out. It's nice and warm now. <laughs> uh, building up. I've noticed that I uh, forgot my earplugs today. So I tend to get dizzy after a few hundred meters without the earplugs in. So that's great. I feel like my form's a little bit better. So I've been building up to 
750 meters. Um, and that's about half of what I have to swim for the Olympic triathlon. Um, usually afterwards, you know, after I get up to that, I'm pretty fatigued and my technique and stuff isn't as great, even though it's not great to begin with. So I typically try to do um, some, you know, flip turns to practice that for the indoor pool swimming, even though none of the, you know, Ironman or triathlons are going to be in, indoor in a pool, um, but just help with efficiency and stuff like that. I'm thinking about getting like a swim, a swim coach. I'm not sure um, specifically, you know, I got someone to analyze my run form. Looks like I've been heel striking, so I've been working on that. You'll see in a different video, getting rid of my, getting rid of my shin splints. Um, so I'm trying to look at getting like a swim trainer to fix my technique. And then also um, I have some people in my comments recommending getting a coach for the triathlons. I was wondering if, uh, what's the website called? There's this one website that has like a, a forum for different triathlons and coaching and stuff like that. I forgot what it's called. Let me know down in the comments what you recommend for a coach. Um, is online coaching enough? Um, should I get someone around my local area if there is one? And uh, yeah, I've also been trying to, you know, tread water because, you know, swimming that far is pretty far. And um, if I need to, need to tread water, it's completely different than being able to just stand up in a pool. So. I'm working on that, working on treading water. I've got up to like 15 minutes, so that should be hopefully okay. Um, I've been trying to do it right after I swim and I'm out of breath, so that way, you know, safety issues, if I'm truly out there and out of breath, I could at least tread water for the time being, get my breath back, and then go back into it. So, dang, that's bright. I hope that's not messing up the camera angle, but that's where we're at right now. Um, let me know your recommendations for that, for the coaching purposes. And um, at this point, we're done with today's workout. I'm gonna tread water a little bit there and back, and then do some uh, 